It is time for Inside Out as SNY NBA insider Ian Begley joins us from Madison Square Garden. And Ian, we've known for a while that this team was going to the playoffs, but how do you put in perspective for the organization the significance of being back in the postseason? Hugely significant, Eamon, because you heard owner James Dolan a few weeks ago saying that his expectation was this team makes the playoffs. And then if you go back to early in the year, team is 10 and 13, things are looking really bad. I'm pretty sure there were a couple of losses away from significant changes, but Tom Thibodeau then switches it up, goes to a nine-man rotation, and the Knicks start rolling. And they've been through injuries to Mitchell Robinson, to Jalen Brunson, and now to Julius Randle. They've played through that adversity. Uh, they've defended well for much of the season. And you can't say enough about the way this group has persevered over the course of this season after that rocky start. And Tom Thibodeau, great job. Second time in the playoffs for him in three years. He is only the third Nick coach to accomplish that feat since the year 2000 obviously Jeff Van Gundy and then Mike Woodson got it done about 10 years ago so great job from Tom Thibodeau and everybody on down to get into the postseason this year yeah definitely quite a turnaround from when we were all on Tibbs watch after that 23 game start now to be back in the playoffs all right second straight start for Obi Toppin on Sunday night how much more comfortable did he appear against Washington as opposed to Friday night against the Cavs you know, I think he did a pretty good job against Cleveland getting out in transition and, and, and making an impact that way. But the difference to me tonight was he played the entire second half. And the guys afterward were talking about the decisions he made in the half court, whether it was shooting the three-point shot or finding somebody uh, for an open shot. He had four assists, and he was really good making decisions in the half court. So maybe that comes down to comfort level, uh, knowing that he's not going to get pulled after a mistake, knowing that he has a little bit more runway uh, to play and to play through errors. I don't know. That could be a bit top end. Nonetheless, he looks very good uh, to me right now with where he is, regardless of if he's starting or coming off the bench for this team going into the postseason. All right, Ian, let's move quickly on this final question. Big night for Quentin Grimes with those six threes. He's averaging almost 21 a game in the last six. So how much of a bigger role could he play down the stretch and in the playoffs? Yeah, I'm not sure if he'll get more minutes, but the shot making you can't ignore. So maybe Thibodeau finds a way to get him a couple more minutes here or there because he's been great on both ends of the floor over these the last week or so. He's been fantastic. And I do know that even prior to that Julius Randle injury, the playoff rotation was kind of still up in the air. Coaches were still thinking about which way to go. Nothing set in stone. So it's going to be interesting to see how these last few games influence the Nick coaches decisions going into round one as you mentioned three games left up next a road game in Indiana on Wednesday Ian Begley thanks for joining us here on Honda Sports Night